everyone always asks me, how do I learn a new job when there's so much to learn, so many different things to learn quickly, and there's just so much. Well, it reminds me of a friend of mine, and um, also it reminds me of an old professor who taught me to first relax and then tackle a problem. And <clears throat> something else that I keep in mind that um, chaos proceeds understanding. So when I'm in chaos, I remind myself that that means that understanding is on the way here in the near future because my chaos is signaling that my brain is in a, a learning phase, that early learning phase. So everyone's had the experience of relaxing on some beautiful sunny beach somewhere. Now, this friend of mine, John, had recently come back from Hawaii, and he had a very similar experience that a lot of people have had where he could just relax and unwind after a long, long time at work. In fact, he sent me a picture um, of where he went to visit. So he was just able to let go of everything. I think the interesting thing is, is that John is a writer. <clears throat> and the first thing that he realized when he arrived at the beach was that the sand was a beautiful golden color like golden brown. <clears throat> there was not a speck of dirt on it, as these beaches were kept really nicely there. As he looked at all the beautiful yellow sand, he could see out in front of him the waters rushing in. The water was a beautiful blue turquoise color, which blended into the sky off into the horizon with some faint fluffy white clouds in the sky and I don't know if you could imagine it where the sky and the sea meet there's a nice beautiful thin line which goes on for what seems like forever and as he looked at that scene he noticed that his feet were beginning to sink into the sand and he had this sort of feeling of relaxed comfortness of the cool sand underneath the sand that was on top began to work its way into his toes and that's when he first realized that he was really on a beach and could finally relax. Now the sun was warm but not too hot and he could feel the temperature against his skin as he began to feel a sense of comfort that the relaxing in the sun brings. Now before he lay down to close his eyes and relax, he realized that looking around him, there were other people. Some were chatting quietly. And over there in the distance, there was a seagull just circling round and around. And from time to time, he could hear the seagull. And it came almost in a rhythm, the same rhythm as the waves would be lapping along the shore by the sea, and at the same time the sunlight would glisten and glitter off of the top of the waves. And John found this whole sight so appealing, he decided to go for a swim. And the first thing he realized when he entered the water was the difference in temperature between the air on the outside and the cool water on the inside. First his feet would notice it, and then his whole legs, and slowly as he walked deeper into the water, more and more of that surrounded him. <clears throat> Sounds had a curious way of reflecting off of the surface of the water. And when he put his head underneath the water, all of the sounds became faded and muted. Very peaceful and still. And as he swam, he could feel his arms moving, 
his legs kicking in a particular rhythm. At one point, he just rolled over onto his back and just drifted, letting the sea carry him gently. The sun would shine on his face, and being in the beautiful, warm, soft golden glow, he began to imagine that golden glow really going through him, unwinding the tension, relaxing every muscle and every neural pathway in his brain. And all the time, just floating on that beautiful, calm ocean scene. Now the interesting thing is, <clears throat> while John had a lot of things to learn at his new place of work, all the new things he was learning seemed to kind of drift lazily through his mind and began to come together and form neural network pathways, began to form a pattern. So as John relaxed, drifting in that calm ocean feeling, a touch of breeze from time to time against his skin, so his inner mind, his unconscious, will begin to just assimilate all those new experiences and patterns and information so that he could learn. By the time he left that sea and <clears throat> gone back to the hotel, it seemed as though so many different things had clicked inside of his mind, and he didn't really know how it happened. But the interesting thing is, he didn't care how it happened. He just enjoyed the experience of letting his inner mind do all the work for a change. And that's when things start to fall into place and come together. Remember to keep your state of mind in a happy, relaxed, but enthusiastic place. Make good positive connections with everyone in your little corner of the world. And keep moving forward. And when ever feeling chaos or confused, remember that you're learning and just relax so that you will learn because the chaos means you're in a state of learning and the more you relax the more things just click together in your mind and form natural patterns for that is the way our natural brain works and it works well and learns the best when it is relaxed so take a nice deep breath and straighten up your posture into your most confident, calm, and joyful state. And have a wonderful, wonderful day.